This anime is shocking me due to how much character development a lot of these just introduced characters are getting. It's very realistic because, you know, even though you don't know a high schooler for a day or two, they've already gone through 16 whatever years of previous bullshit. But I just feel like without comparing it, without having any other sports anime to compare it to, I'm just genuinely shocked at how much I am not only loving the sports in the show, but the characters specifically. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Q Episode 9. The only reason I had that kind of weird pre-intro was just because this episode's called The Toss to the Ace, which I'm assuming, with the way last episode ended, that Asahi's gonna be going through some mental obstacles, trying to overcome his, his loss and his insecurities and his PTSD, uh, to go back to what he loves doing, because it really seems like he wants to do that, and if anyone's gonna be able to be there to you know, uh, inspire and make him more confident. It's definitely going to be Hinata and Kageyama. So I'm so hyped about that duo. So hyped about going to the golden week training camp, whatever it's called. So, so hyped about going against the Neko and so hyped about getting that Ukai fucking convenience store coach. I've liked him ever since I met him. I am super hyped. With that being said, if you guys want to watch the full length of this episode, check out that Patreon down below as well as early access. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter guys. And if you guys are new here, Please subscribe, join that notification gang, click that bell button. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this. Haikyuu, episode 9, a toss to the ace. And he hears Neko. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Daichi. Of course he's scary when he gets mad. Then come play. Hell yeah. I always liked Daichi. Literally from day one, minute one, always been a fan of Daichi. Once he hears about the rivalry, though, in that game. Oh, so he was a player. あの限られた時間の独特の感じ。あの場所のあの時間にしかない空気みたいな。ノスタルジーで he has the most involved when it comes to that rivalry, of course. Oh, so he would know who that setter is. Oh, he definitely does. It is. He <laughs> said, What time does practice start? <laughs> you think I'm going to fall for an obvious boy? When am I coming? When does it start? Come on. They're all like, hey, that's the guy who sells me fucking buns. What? They didn't know any of that. I'm glad that's a shock. Yeah, it's not the Ukai store. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh. My boy's got a little swaggy jacket, okay. Oh, this is definitely them. Older kids, not, not even kids, these are definitely adults. These are like, these are like Ukai's boys from back in his day. These guys are like 25, 26, right? Geezers, yeah. They're like me. If, give me a couple years, I go back to my high school, I'll be called Geezer, you know what I'm saying? He's not even in there. He's just walking outside. They're going to be Sugawara Kageyama. Sugawara-Kageyama. I get that. I get that. 
But now he has his own motivation. He enjoyed the relief. Now he's a little disgusted. He's a little guilted by it. He gives me huge My Hero vibes from like Ida and Deku. Nice Nice Wants to share that responsibility. Because we know Suga is that kind of guy. <laughs> you become awesome. I was about to say, coming from Nishinoya too, you know, you don't hear that too often. He really is a big softy. He's a huge softy and a huge body. <laughs> I always respect it though. I'm a huge emotional guy. <laughs> this is all their first reactions to their quick attack, yep. To me, to me, I'm just sitting here like, oh, it's normal, you know. It's whatever, but to these guys, it's not. The Iron Wall of Day. That's, that's their signature. You can't be mad, come on. They're literally the Iron Wall. Everyone fucked up, you know, you can't, sh you can't shoulder the entire blame on yourself, Asahi. That's how that mop originally broke. I respect that mad, bro. Nishinoya is that nigga, bro. Don't ever give up. I don't care if you fail, 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 fail over and over again. As long as we keep the ball from hitting that ground, we're in there. I respect it. Trying to knock that rug off your head. Oh, that's how my boy got suspended? Are you serious? That's all Nishinoya needs to hear. He'll keep the ball from hitting the ground. He'll give you as many spiking opportunities as you ask for, my guy. I have a feeling he's going to get blocked. But then Nishinoya is going to save it and they're going to go again and be amazing as a tag team. Come on. Nishinoya is so good at saving those fucking blocks. Come on, baby. I love Tanaka so much. He's gonna call for it. No. Asi's gonna call for it. Asi's gonna call for it. This is gonna be it right here. This is gonna be it. It's not just you, baby. It's the whole team all in connection. It's a circle of life, baby. Come on. Finally processing this. You got your squad. You guys are a combined unit. Never heard Asa you speak like that. Look at Daichi, all the older kids. I love this. I have so much respect and are feeling this so much. Hell yeah. Motivate them, but also try our hardest. My boy Tanaka. Rely on your teammates. You guys are in this together. Man, I love this so much. Oh, that animation was fucking amazing. I have eye, I have water coming out of my eyes right now. He notches is shocked. He's never seen someone push through like that. Jesus. 
That was so fucking well done. That was amazing. It's crazy to think, man. We're on episode nine of season one. And there's four seasons. And I do know, because I'm mad late, of course, to the show in totality, but I do know that the ending of the manga, I think, just happened, like, literally a few days ago. Twitter was, Haikyuu was trending. Like, I know people have an insane love for the show, and I can completely fathom why. Like, this is literally a practice match between some old geezers who used to go to high school. And <laughs> has no bearing, no stakes whatsoever compared, like, in, in terms of the actual team. You know, like, you know, of course, we got to get our boy Asahi back. That's some stakes. Don't get me wrong. I love that guy. But I'm just saying, for them to make that, for make to the, for, for them to make this that hype, you know, it's crazy. I can't wait till a fucking, like, an actual game. Like, like, not even just a practice match, like, against Neko. Like, an actual game. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. One thing this show does incredibly well is make it feel like there's already an established world that goes on. Like, by giving you little tidbits of, you know, Nishinoya got suspended. Also, he has anxiety, stuff like that. But then they go back and actually develop those and show you what caused that, what happened. It makes so sense it makes the world feel real but also it makes these characters seem like they have actual relationships like if i had just watched this episode like for some reason they were doing like a video saying just watch this episode see how you feel i don't know i would have not thought he not and kageyama were the main characters whatsoever i would have thought of maybe asahi sugawara and nishinoya but it's like for for our main characters to be younger than them and then to come in and have these new set relationships that are that is changing and uh, manipul not manipulating is not a good word but you know manipulating the relationships these guys have had for years because these guys are second third year seniors i don't fucking know but it's like you can clearly tell they've been friends they've been talking for years and you know it's it, it takes some new heart it takes some new light some some young fresh fucking passion in here to, to, to change everyone's perspective and to open everyone's eyes it, you know hasn't really changed nishinoya much he's one of the guys who i fucking love but he's also the same sugawara changed immensely growing a lot more confident you know like his change is fantastic thanks to kagayama you know like that whole being relieved and then being like you know like i can't be relieved that i'm being diminished you know i have to be better you know and then Asahi when it comes to Hinata it's just, it's just crazy like I like it, it really makes it seem like these guys were friends before Hinata and Kageyama ever came along this show is fan fucking tastic I am loving it oh so much if you guys are as well please leave a like let me know what you thought down below if you guys are new aren't subscribed please subscribe join that notification gang I appreciate y'all thank you Dapper Squad have a great day you guys